At least seven people were killed and several others were injured when a car ran over pedestrians in Brownsville in Texas. An SUV moved down people near a homeless shelter that attends to migrants. The driver of the car was arrested and charged with reckless driving. A video has now surfaced showing the victims waiting at a bus stop when a speeding car ran into them. It was not clear if the driver had crashed into the group intentionally or if he lost control of his vehicle. Several pedestrians were killed in South Texas on Sunday when a man driving an SUV mowed down people near a homeless shelter that attends to migrants. Police in the city of Brownsville said the driver is in custody, facing reckless driving charges and possible other charges. According to police, the victims in the morning crash were waiting at a bus stop near Ozenham Center, a shelter for the homeless used by migrants. And that migrants were among the dead. This man says he witnessed the crash. We hope the hospitalized migrants will recover because they have families far away who count on them. We crossed mountains, marched and got through the migration. It was a long way to come here and we fought hard. Police said a number of people were taken to hospital with a range of injuries. A New York Times report quoted Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino as saying it was not clear if the driver intentionally crashed into the group or lost control of the vehicle. A Brownsville police lieutenant told Fox News investigators are trying to determine whether the driver was intoxicated. Brownsville lies on the border with Mexico, and the city is one of the places expecting an influx of migrants when COVID-era restrictions under Title 42 expire on Thursday. At approximately 8.30 this morning, we received a phone call of a major accident where a gray uh, Land Rover ran over several people waiting on a bus stop in front of our uh, Osnan Center, which is our homeless shelter. Uh, when officers got here, they confirmed that there were seven people that were dead, and there's approximately between four to six people that are transported to the hospital. Their injuries are from minor to critical injuries. Also, the driver has been detained. He's at the hospital receiving uh, medical, uh, medical attention. But then, of course, we're also running several other tests on the driver just to cover all our bases as a normal procedure when we have accidents like this. Right now, we're treating it as an accident, but we're definitely not trying to say it wasn't intentional. That is what our detectives are trying to, to figure out right now. It is a very it is a fluid case right now as we're going, and information might change you know, at the drop of a dime. So that's why uh, we're trying to keep everybody informed.